Hey y'all, so sometimes I get asked about my uh, setup when I'm doing some uh, acoustic solo gigs and even when I'm singing with my co-vocalist, people ask me, you know, what's going on with your setup? How do you get the sound that you're getting? Uh, what's the sort of the process through which you are able to perform these songs? And sometimes it's a I find it a little hard to explain, actually. So I just thought I would, uh, you know, sort of do a quick demo through this particular process, the setup, and then just, you know, demonstrate a little bit of a cover song that I might do on a regular basis. So hope this is helpful to folks who might like to try this kind of setup. And as always, please like and subscribe and um, click that notification bell. So when you're at the board, you're going to want to take this quarter inch cable from your guitar to the instrument speaker in port on the direct box. You're gonna to wanna to take the quarter inch cable instrument speaker out directly to your board. This is your guitar in port on the board. You're gonna to wanna to take your XLR and you're gonna to wanna to put the XLR cable into the low Z output port. And then this goes into your mixer. And then the last cable is coming out of the board at the left mono out. And the other end goes into your mixer. All right, so both this quarter inch cable and your XLR go into your mixer. We've plugged the XLR and the quarter inch cables out of the uh, setup into the mixer. Now we got a Yamaha EMX 66M powered mixer here. This thing is from sometime in the 90s probably, so it's pretty old. I've lost a couple of channels on it. But it's still got four good channels on it. So I plug the quarter inch output from the uh, left mono out of the board into this third channel right here. And then I plug the XLR output from the direct box into this fourth channel right here. So um, each of these I can send level independently. <clears throat> so if I turn my foot pedal off on my board there's nothing coming through the board and it's just clean guitar real clean guitar and I can turn that up down I can EQ it uh, any of that kind of stuff just notice too while I'm while we're here I have uh, all effects off on this uh, mixer um, so no channels are getting mixer digital effect um, so it's just real clean even if I turn the effect up on that channel channel 4 it doesn't affect this, the quality of the sound coming out of the straight guitar at all. Now, if I want to go with a little bit of pedal board mix into it at the same time, then I'm going to go ahead and press my pedal in on my board. And I've got this one called Bank 04B, Two Suns Rise. So you'll get a sense of how this feels and sounds. Turn that channel up just a little bit so you can get a little bit more of that effect. a lot more sustain, a lot more um, layers, I think, when you got that nice, crisp acoustic guitar sound with a little bit of the modeled amp, whatever that ends up being. So. All right, now it's time for a proper introduction for the pedal board. This is a Line 6 Pod HD 400. Um, this one's quite old as well. Um, I'm just using a few of the amp models from time to time for the live performances and using the looping feature. The one I'm going to focus in on this real quick demo here is the recording looping mode. Um, so when you tap it and you have red lights on, 
you're going to be in the looping um, recording mode. So here we're looking at uh, a couple of things. You can see that it's selecting this pre-post um, by default. Um, you can turn that uh, to toggle between pre and post if you want. I'm leaving that selected the way it is. If I was to turn that off, ant modeling would influence the way that the, the previously laid loops would, would play back. Now just make sure your pedal uh, is at least got some volume to it. Uh, I'm just going to leave it fully open for this particular uh, demo here. Okay. So you got record overdub, play stop and play once here. So let's say you want to lay down a very simple uh, chord progression. Uh, this is Island in the Sun from Weezer, for example, okay? Hit the downbeat. that down B again. That'll play indefinitely. Now when you're ready to bring in another loop, you can hit the record down on down B and play what's next. the record button to stop it. The previously laid loop continues. Let's say we want to lay in that fun little uh, second guitar part. We can lay that in by hitting the record button again on the downbeat. Again. Now when we're ready to stop it, say we, we get to the bridge part, we're playing along, and we'll stop it. Run away together We'll spend some time forever We'll never feel bad anymore Hip, hip, play Hip, hip So that's the way the looping feature works. Um, it's pretty cool, pretty simple. This is a very basic looper. So I can't subtract loops. The only thing I can do is just keep adding and building with this particular board. Sometimes I gotta come here and adjust the channel, make sure it doesn't come out. So I can hear it, right? More of a monitor type of adjustment. Put 
little absence every once in a while. Just pop them in wherever you want. Part of the journey, I'm looking at all of the life. There were plants and birds and rocks and things. There were sand and hills and rings. Then the first thing I met was a fly with a buzz and a sky with no clouds. And the day was hot and the ground was dry and the air was full of sound. Well, I didn't do the desert on a horse. Oh, that. 